I've marinated some these little mushrooms and some asparagus in wine vinegar, uh, raspberry vinegar, in fact, olive oil, some little leeks, but most importantly, the lamb here. So I cut these into little scallops, like that. Just dip them into the olive oil to give them a little bit of fat. And then, as they go onto the grill, which they will, and they're going to cook only for a minute or two on each side, you're going to go whizzing around the countryside and look at things, and I'm going to prepare a super sauce from these little lemons. They're called Maya lemons. Now, I've never seen these before. They're a cross between a tangerine and a lemon. You could eat them, you can make sauces with them, you can put them into drinks, much more importantly. I'm going to create a wonderful sauce. So, for the moment, our little bits of lamb go onto here. And it's worth noting that this perfect fire, if you had a good close-up of that, that's exactly how a barbecue fire should be. Especially, and if now back up to me, please, Clive, if you make them from vine roots. Absolutely superb. Right, talking of vine roots, go and have a spin round the Napa Valley and the Sonoma Valley here and see how the Californians are coming first in the world with winemaking. I was so impressed by the vineyards of Northern California that I told my friend Barry about it in the pub when I got back. And he was so impressed too that he wrote this piece of commentary, which he wants to read to you now. Thank you. Chardonnay et Pinot Noir, names as resident as Provence with the artistry of the finest winemaking. Carefully selected clones from Oregon and California, some for sparkling and some for still wines, have been brought to Iron Horse to increase the complexity of wines nurtured here. There's experimentation too. The variety Viognier, which That's makes absolutely more. brilliant, Barry. I think they've got the drift. He's really good at commentary, isn't he? Anyway, let's get back to the cooking. So there's a lovely little portrait of California on the grill. The leeks, succulent leeks, being grilled, the asparagus, my little brochettes, of muck mushrooms, kumquat, sage and garlic. I crushed a drop of the old lemon juice, put it into my double saucepan like that. Then I put in some eggs, little fresh pullets eggs from around here, whisk those in. And here, melted gently, some good California butter, just whisked in. Now this will take a little second or two to do. Stay with it, because the gas is high. Oh, do a minute, Clive. The gas on this thing is completely out of control and these refined little sauces need the subtlest of touches. And I don't know, after waiting for you lot to go around the wineries and the vineyards, and I got a bit, a bit grumpy and they came back late. Ah, oh, I've got it, I've done it, I've done it, I've done it, I've done it. Right, the beautiful consistency. Let me just taste that. Those mayo lemons give that a supreme flavor. Actually, that is the best egg liaison sauce I've ever made. Next time you see this dish, I should be probably sitting in the middle of a field with cornflowers, daffodils in my hair and stuff like that, enjoying myself and having a deep and meaningful philosophical conversation about California wine. Who did you say this uh, chap was, Keith? It was me, you fool. No, the chap on the right. Oh, sorry, Forrest Tancer. He is. He's the uh, proprietor. Oh, yes. Mm. What do you think? Well, the fascinating thing is the garlic is such a wonderful complement to those mushrooms. And then getting a little bit of the Meyer lemon in there, it just brings forward this tremendous flavor. I mean, it's so fresh and so delicious.